pregnancy during the pandemic. For those expecting or those who have delivered a child this year, the experience can be challenging even amid the most joyous time. That's why our Alexandria Hoff and Victoria Woodall wanted to share their own stories on becoming new moms during this unprecedented time. For eight strange months, life's monumental moments have involved distance. Oh my God! <laughs> For my own pregnancy announcement, I wasn't able to hug my parents. Like many, I still haven't. But we have all learned connection is still possible. Do you feel like cuter pregnant? No. <laughs> <laughs> Over a rather iffy Zoom connection. Okay, I think this is better. I checked in with our friend Victoria Woodall. If you haven't heard, the spicy, sweet, and always tasteful Tori. This is a hunk of hunk of burning love. Try to do the lip thing there. Is now a mom. Tori was due about three months before me. During the initial height of the pandemic, Tori rocked CBS 3 Summerfest at home. It's Tori, and welcome back to my home. Masked up, I have continued to report from the field. I did reach out to the union president for further comment. Two different pandemic pregnancy experiences with the same goal in mind. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> On September 3rd, Tori and her husband welcomed baby Louisa. I felt so good when I was in the hospital. About two or three days after returning from home, though, that feeling, well, it changed. I was so sad that logically my brain could not understand why I was feeling this way at what everyone else says is the happiest time of their life. Tori was dealing with symptoms of postpartum depression. I've never experienced something so hard in my life. Knowing that other new moms might feel isolated in this, she opened up about the experience on social media. Maybe the reason why I felt so sad then was to be able to share this with other people so they didn't feel alone. Each postpartum response is different, and in Tori's case, she said her emotional well-being improved when she stopped breastfeeding. For me, it's the virus that changed this world that has packed the biggest pregnancy punch so far. Hey guys, I'm about two and a half weeks out now from my due date and last week my husband and I, we tested positive for COVID-19. Luckily our symptoms have been mostly mild, but we've definitely had some scary moments. So hugging our parents, we'll still have to wait. If COVID wasn't here, I mean, my door would have just been open and closed. Tori and I have been lucky. We agree our pregnancies have been easy, all considering. But what has also been made clear is that... For some reason, I froze again. However iffy it may be over Zoom, connections are still healing. And becoming a mom always has been and always will be hard. Say have a great day. Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. What a great, great job, Alex and Tori.